How many European cities can I name? Not European cities above a population size, European cities of any description. I did a brief test, and by the way, this includes places that aren't explicitly cities, so Luton is not a city in the UK, but it does count, and so the goal is to find not the number of cities, which will be interesting by itself, but the largest percent of the European urban population that we can. Should be a fun game, we've got a 30 minute timer, it started a few seconds ago, so let's go right into this, and we'll start not of the UK, which is where my knowledge is, but instead kind of in Scandinavia. Everyone knows the major free capitals. There's uh, Stockholm for Sweden, there's Oslo for Norway, and then there's Helsinki, uh, I think I didn't get Oslo correctly, um, for, uh, for Finland. Which means that now we can work out onto the second tier cities. So there's Bergen for Norway, there's Stavanger for Norway, there's Tromsø for all Norway, and obviously in Sweden we've kind of got Umia, and uh, we've got like uh, Malmo is the really big obvious one I should have gotten. Um, there's a few cities around Stockholm, which are basically the Stockholm, but sort of their own thing. Their name escapes me. Uh, there's a city called Or, I believe, in Sweden. Uh, I think that might be our smallest so far. Yep. We, oh no, Or in France is. Uh, there's also an Or in Sweden, though, right? If I type it in again, I don't get it. Okay. So our smallest city so far has 123 people, which is kind of fun. But um, yeah, now the goal is to find places in Sweden and Finland. So there's a place called Turku, which is basically a part of. Uh, uh, Helsinki? No, there's a, there's a city that is part of Helsinki. It's like right next door, but legally it's its own thing, like Ursu or something like that. Its name is also escaping me. Then there's Rovaniemi, uh, up in the north of uh, Finland, where people go for reindeer. And for Sweden, there's a lot of places on the border that my brain is kind of uh, losing right now. So we'll kind of just have to go... Um, there's a place called Hell in Norway, right? Yep, that's a thing. And there's a place where the Winter Olympics is held, just north of Oslo, that's a fairly big place. Um, it's, it's, it's like, sounds like something in English, but I, I, it's escaping me too. So yeah, that is the best we're getting so far for the Nordic regions. Then we'll go for just kind of, it's not quite Nordic, but Mamansk is going to be a huge city. That brings us up from, uh, that goes us up from 0.51 to 0.56. Um, then there's St. Petersburg, which again, like, I, we, we're kind of pushing the meaning of Nordic at this point. But, uh, St. Petersburg, uh, I, I think splitting this challenge up is the only way to really make progress. Boom, look at that, that's a huge city. And since we're in Russia anyway, we'll go for Moscow. Everyone knows Moscow. You might know Rostov-on-Don. It's like a surprisingly huge city. Um, there's a few cities with just odd names uh, to the east of Russia, which you might not know necessarily by themselves, but um, we, we kind of don't have them right now. So between Moscow and St. Petersburg, there's got to be other stuff. Up here, there's got to be other stuff. Um, there's a... Uh, in, in my mind, I'm going to go Stalingrad and uh, <laughs> Leningrad, but I don't think that's going to be right. Um, so instead, we'll go uh, and jump back over to the... Uh, kind of, we'll kind of jump to the north over here, and we'll see what we get for Estonia. So Estonia has Tallinn, obviously. I apparently don't know how to spell it. Is it two L's? Tallinn. Uh, Latvia has Riga. And Lithuania has... Uh, it's not... Kaunas is their second biggest city. The, big, the biggest city in Lithuania is Vilnius. So uh, with that said, uh, or the capital, I guess. Then there's Kaunas, maybe is how you spell it. Cow. It's definitely spelt like that. Is it like that? No? Okay. Cow Nass. Yeah, there we go. It's Cal Nass. Uh, the second biggest city in uh, the other ones are a little bit less known to me. Like, there's a there's quite a few. Like, there's Clypedia. Um, Clypedia, maybe? Cly Clyopedia. There's a city on the coast of Lithuania that's quite big, too. It's a it's surprisingly uh, split up place. Then there is um, the big city in the exclave of Russia. Um, which, man, this is, it's so fun, when you put it on the spot, it can be real hard to actually draw this knowledge out from yourself. So then we're gonna move into, uh, Ukraine over here, and Belarus. So everyone knows Minsk, right? And everyone knows, uh, it, it, it's important to know if we get all the capitals, we're at least somewhere, right? So Kiev or Kyiv. Uh, then there's Lviv, everyone knows Lviv. And then there's, to the south, in Crimea, Sevastopol. I think we'll get a surprising amount of Sevastopol. Like, we go from four point, you know, we got point zero six. it's a surprisingly huge uh, settlement. Um, then on the east of the country, there is the uh, the cities that kind of are uh, like Luhansk and um, Mamat, not Luhansk, and uh, so yeah, we go for the separatist republics over there. That kind of helps us around Kiev. Also, there's a few other big cities, but I think Lviv and Kiev are the the, the very big ones we've got there. So we've got the the major things. Now we have to go. I should really be able to name more than one city in, uh, in, in in Belarus, but I don't think we can. So now I think we'll move over to... Oh, we don't have Turkey included in this. But, oh, we do have this bit of Turkey. So if we get Istanbul on there, that's that's such a big win for us, right? We are... Yeah, I guess, and then we'll throw London on there just to... And then we'll throw, like, Paris and Berlin. Just to, like, try and get this number up as high as we can. And then we'll kind of <laughs> bring ourselves down to reality later. Um, so Warsaw 
and uh, Bucharest, um, and then I think uh, we, with Rome and Madrid, you get a huge number two. Then it's important to go for the second tier cities in each of those countries. So there's Nimes in France. That's not what I'm thinking of, actually. It's Nice in France. There's Marseille in France. Um, we're going to get a point for going Monaco here. We got 0 0.01, but that'll count for something. We'll go for uh, Vaduz, which is Liechtenstein's big city. Did <laughs> It counted for nothing. It, I might as well not have said it. Uh, San Marino just has San Marino, if I'm not mistaken. The Vatican City is kind of pushing things, but it counts. Um, so I think, yeah, when it comes to France, there's quite a few cities. So there's Normandy. I, I, know, I know a surprising number of French cities, I think. Normandy is apparently a place in the UK, not in... Can I type it again, or do I only get points one time? Okay, that's very weird. Uh, Normandy is not a place in France, as it turns out. Lille is a place, and so is Rubai, um, if I'm not mistaken. It's a place in the Lille metro area. Um, and then we've got to the east of France, a surprise... You know, to the north of France, there's the... Calais is the big city in Normandy, I guess. Normandy's the region, and Calais, uh, and, uh, Calais is the city in the region, maybe. Um, then we got all the way to the west. we got Rennes in France. Then all the way to the south, as well as Marseilles, you've got... Uh, a surprisingly big uh, few cities down there that just escaped me. Then for Switzerland, we've got Bern, we've got Zurich, um, we've got um, it's the it's the Davos. It's where the big summits are held. We've got to the southwest of Switzerland. Oh no, Geneva, of course. That's a huge one. Can't be missing that. Um, Geneva looks like it's in a different <laughs> country altogether, but it's not. Um, and then to the south of Paris, there's just there's got to be lots of cities here that I just cannot name, like suburb cities even that should really count for a lot. Um, but yeah, for Spain, we'll go for Barcelona. Everyone knows Barcelona. We'll go for Paloma, which is Italy, but it comes to my brain. Uh, Paloma is not. That's a cocktail, I think. Um, so instead, we'll go for... <laughs> um, Ibiza has... No, Ibiza is the island. Oh, no, Ibiza is the city on the island of Malaga, maybe. Um, counts for nothing, though. So we'll go for Seville for the oranges. We'll go for... Um, Gibraltar, just, just, just to get it on there. Wow, calling it a Spanish place now. Who am I? Um, Gibraltar attaches to, not Benidorm, but, you know, because of all the package holiday deals, I can name a lot of Spanish places, um, I bet. So then there's San Sebastian. That's not a package holiday place, but it is worth knowing about. Uh, Andorra might count as a whole place. Yes, it does. Um, on this east coast of Spain, there's a lot of cities that, uh, you, that everyone should and does know about, but it's the thing on, when you put on the head, uh, when you're on the top of your head, it's quite hard. Put on the spot to name it all is quite hard. So, uh, Portugal has Porto, Lisbon, Faro, and then after that, I'm not sure I can name any major ones. Maj uh, Spain has, we're at 11.72%, by the way. Spain has some cities up here that should be quite well known about, and then some cities down here that, of course, I know, but aren't coming to my brain, um... Man, that's that's an uh, it's uh, okay. So of course it, we'll go to Italy just to try and get a lot done there. There's Barry on the east coast. There's Naples on the west coast. There's um, there's Milan to the north. There's Turin to the north, which are both big places. Yeah, that's you know Italy's decentralization is working in my favor here because uh, I do happen to know all of the decentralized cities. Sicily has not Palermo. It's Palam Palamo maybe. Why am I- why am I getting Palermo? There's a city that sounds like Palermo, but I'm mixing it with a cocktail. My brain has stored in it right now the name of a drink, but not the name of the important city on this island. Um, which- which is a crazy thing to be able to say. Then we've got, um, so, uh, Florence is very close to Pisa, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very close to Pisa. Um, and, uh, near San Marino is a big city on that side. Uh, which you can't fly to, so I don't know it. So, uh, then in the north of Italy, there's Bolzano, I want to say, is the, uh, North Tyrol capital. So we'll go, we'll, ki we'll kind of move into Austria now. There's Vienna, obviously. There, you get, I'm saving the UK for last. I'm really hoping I can pull back, like, an extra 5% of this just from the UK. Uh, Vienna's on the east, then there's Graz, um, and there's Linz, and there's Innsbruck, and there's Salzburg... Um, man, it's just how, how much do you spend? How much time do you spend looking at maps? Is and how much of that absorbs into your brain? Um, there are a few other cities I should know in uh, Austria. I'm pretty sure. Like, uh, there's some. There are some cities between this, but we'll go for like Saint Germain. That could be a. That's a place apparently. How, that's got to be the smallest place on here, right? Saint Germain is uh, one of the rarest cities so far. Hey. Proud of myself, and hell, Norway is quite small too. Okay, so um, that's actually quite cool. I'm looking forward to going through those stats later. But for now, I think that's all we get for Austria. It's sad to get five cities. I mean, I've got, what, like five for Spain, and I should definitely know more than that. Um, Catania is the one in... Um, I don't know how I'm getting Catania mixed up with Palermo. <laughs> there is a city called, like, Palermo somewhere around here. It's in Ticket to Ride, but my brain just doesn't get it. 
Um, so, yeah, we got a pretty decent uh, spread right there. We'll move into um, Germany now then. Or we could just go... Slovenia is going to be a weak one. I, Slovenia was the first country I think I went to by myself. Lelubliana. Uh, but I can't spell their capital. Lelubliana. Liana. Yeah, 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 nope, can't do it. Uh, come on, give me a, give me, <laughs> give me a, give me a shot here, game. Um, so instead, we'll go for the Czech Republic, Brno. Oh no, I typed this in apparently. Um, or every country. Oh, so I can type in Oregon now, and it will give me. No, it won't. Okay, so um, I think we want to go for Brno, and then we want to go for the capital, Prague. Everyone knows that. And then there's uh, Ostrava, and that's the three big cities I know in uh, in uh, Czechia. In Slovakia, it's a little bit more dire for now, I think. Like, Blesblava comes to mind immediately, which means we have to get Budapest, because it's on that same river. Um, which, by the way, is helping us with these population numbers. There are big cities to the east of Slovakia that I know about, but my brain cannot conjure them. Like, there's a J or a K in there somewhere, it's... Uh, it's uh, it's just not coming to play. So there's Kludge Napoka in, uh, in Romania. Uh, Kludge Napoka. Yep, we got it. And then there's... Um there's quite a few Romanian cities uh, that we can't get, but we'll go for Moldova. I don't, you know, most people probably get Chisinau and then, oh, Chisinau, and then get a little confused. But I think, I know, there's a place called Bender, because my, uh, my, my very questionable roommate was, uh, well, a lodger was from there. Um, and then, um, there's Tiraspol, which is the capital of the Septus region. Um, Tiraspol. And then there's gotta be places that I know that, oh man, Bender has a lot of people living in it, huh? Um, so with that said, we've got, um, now we've got Bulgaria, which of course has Sofia, and then it has Varna, and, oh, we got a lot of Varnas, apparently. Uh, that was useful, huh? Yeah, Varna, wow, that's, that's very useful. So just name, gen <laughs> just start typing in random stuff soon. Um, so yeah, for Bulgaria, it's gonna be hard, um, because there are other cities that are fairly of import, but, but apparently I just get seaside and capital. So, um, now we're gonna move over to, um, Greece. We're gonna go for Athens. We can come back for a lot of these later. We just wanna get as much big movement done as we can. Um, there's Skopje for North Macedonia. Skop... Skop... I swear, I swear that's how you spell it. Is it like Skopje? Okay, so... I can't, I can't spell some of these cities, which is a big problem. Um, Greece has Corfu, right? And then it had, oh, Corfu is apparently in Albania. No, that's Greece, I was going to say. Uh, there's Crete, that might be an island and not a place. I'm getting it, though, apparently. Um, a lot of these islands have big places, so we'll just go for Nicosia. I don't think, oh, there's a Nicosia in Italy, too. Wow, I'm just, I'm killing it with this every country trick. <laughs> I get every place that has a similar name to the one I'm typing. Um, so, yeah, the uh, there's Thessalonkini, but I'm not going to get it if I can't spell Skopje. Thessalon, Thessa... Fessan. Yeah, if I, you, this is why you gotta learn to say things correctly, apparently. Um, there's a big city in the north of Greece that I know that I'm not getting points for. Um, also, all of Turkey's, my knowledge is being wasted, but I guess I don't know all the places I don't know there too. Um, so then we go to Serbia, because we got Varna, but we also know... You know, actually, I'm feeling pretty bad about my uh, about my Balkans. We'll come back to them after we get Germany. Let's get a confidence round going in here. I know Germany quite well. The big five cities are Frankfurt... Munich, there's a Frankfurt on the uh, the Polish border too, by the way. It's uh, You have to make the joke, Frankfurt on the Rhine, or Frankfurt, or, and the Main, sorry, or Frankfurt on the Oder. Um, then there's uh, Munich, then there's um, Armburg, I want to say. I mean, that's somewhere, no, it's not. It's Augsburg, sorry, on the outskirts of Munich. Um, on the outskirts of Germany, or uh, Frankfurt, we got, like, Mainz, we got, like, Darmstadt. Uh, I, I, I might do better in Germany than my own country if I keep it to that. So I don't know how you spell Darmstadt, apparently, but it is a city. Um, then we've got, uh, the two city-states, obviously being, I've got Berlin in there, but the other one is Bremen. And maybe Hamburg is a city-state too, but it's a big city regardless of city-state status. Um, then in the middle of Germany is Hanover, where all those tales, German tales come from. And then, um, on the east here with the famous, uh, like, oh, excessive bombing, uh, thing is... Oh, yeah, like, everyone's like, oh, but remember that place? Bremen? No, Dre Dresden, that's what it is. Uh, so Dresden, a uh, very controversial place. Good that I know some controversies. Then in between, there's a place called, like, Arm. Nope, there's... I'm <laughs> just <laughs> nailing lots of random places, apparently. There is definitely an Arm in Germany. Or am I thinking of Ulm, maybe? Man, I this is how this is how you win. You just guess. It's, um... I don't know what it is, but it doesn't really matter. So outside of um, Berlin, there's quite a few interesting cities. There's uh, 
uh, near Hamburg. There's a very big uh, place close to the Danish border. While we're in, uh, I guess while we're here though, we'll quickly go for Denmark. Denmark has uh, the Legoland place. It's a uh, rule. Yeah, it's interesting how my brain is like, yep, I know there's a place there. It starts with an A. Orgs. It's got like a um, Al Alborg. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, it's Alborg. I spelled it wrong, but it gave it to me. That's interesting how uh, how it does that. So then there's Aarhus. And then the Aarhus in the middle of the street. I haven't done Copenhagen, so, you know, did uh, did the Nordics, didn't get this one. Which means we also can go over to Iceland and be like, Reykjavik, Reykjavik. You know, you, you know it's the only one I'm going for. Come on, come on. <laughs> Is that, okay, Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Um... Well, you know, no, no points for Iceland. This is a this is a lesson to me to learn spelling clearly. <laughs> so Luxembourg is a is just gonna give me like most of Luxembourg's population, um, and then we can go for cities that are nearby on both sides. So there's um, the Saarbrücken. Saarbrücken might be the province. Uh, no, Saarbrücken's the city. Um, then we've got to the east of Germany. There's uh, east of France. There's Strasbourg. Um, that's that's a fun city. I think I've been. I don't know. I don't know why I possibly went to Strasbourg, but I did. Um, I don't know why anyone goes to Strasbourg. Then we got Brussels. Um, no, we don't have Brussels. Have I typed it in already? Or it's not over there. Brussels. Okay, it's got. I, I don't know. What I did wrong there. Um, two S's, one L. Um, then we got Ghent. We got Antwerp. We've got Bruges. And then to the south, in the French-speaking part, there's a big, big city where the airport is. Couldn't tell you what it is, though. So, in here, there's quite a few... I should know the Belgian cities, but I don't, and that's entirely fine. Then we'll go for... Okay, so we, we're, you're looking at the map. We've got a decent spread. Um, we should easily uh, be able to get some of the big cities around here. There's a lot of cities in France that I'm just... They're just blanking on me right here. Um, I feel like we're doing fine-ish for Germany. So, for, for Poland, we'll go for uh, Rocklaw, I want to say is what it is. Rocklaw. Yep, and then there's Gdansk, and then there's um, oh, the, yeah, the free city of Danzig, if you will. Um, so this city over here was called Konigsberg. Now it's Russia. It's called... It's interesting how that is. I've got these histories for these cities, but the, the last detail goes missing. Because usually you look at a map, and the last detail comes to you, but not today for me, apparently. Okay, this is... We, we, we can make some progress. In between these, I know some big cities. There's... Um, I've got Gdansk. There's a there's a salt mine and there's a there's a Holocaust thing over in the west of Poland somewhere. It's a really big famous city um, that I've not got. There's a city to the southeast of the country too. Kind of like this this area is really missing some knowledge. I think so. We'll go for Serbia just to get some points in there. Belgrade and then there's Novi Sad. Yep, and then there's to the south of the country. Um, in my favorite part of Serbia right here, <laughs> there is, um, oh, Kosovo's capital is gone to me. Um, Kosovo, capital, Pristina. You know, if, if Kosovo didn't have this, if Kosovo wasn't independent and slash or pretending to be independent, depending on your views of your political history, I wouldn't know about it. So I'm glad we got it. Um, so Montenegro is, I don't think I know their capital. I think I could see it. Okay, so... Um, Bosnia, we've got Sarajevo, easy, and then there's, uh, and then there's a bunch of other places too. <laughs> so Zagreb, Split, um, Damascus is not going to get me anything, but it's, uh, it starts with a D and it's down in this part of the country that you can't see on this map. Um, and it's where they filmed Game of Thrones. So we'll go for Malta, actually. You know, Malta doesn't look like it's on this map, but it seems like it will be. So Valletta is not going to get me much, but it's going to get me something. And then uh, there's like a Barry in Malta too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is a Barry in Malta. No, it's not in Malta. Do we get another Barry in Italy or something? <laughs> um, yeah, let's find out. Where did I just get? My city's Barry in Italy. I already thought I had Barry, but this one has a 15 population. That is wild, by the way. That is wild. My rarest city is now Arm in Austria times three. <laughs> Proud of me. I've got that. I'm gonna, there's going to be a really big city we're not going to be naming. So the Netherlands now, we have Amsterdam. We have um, on the east of the country. Yeah, this is this keeping your brain organized by country is a good idea. Because on the east, there's I know loads of Dutch cities. The Hague. Um, the Hague. Den Haag. 
Um, and then there's root to dam, blood to dam, and then there's there's a bunch of um, there's iron Eidenhoven, Eidenhoven, Eidenhoven. I it's <laughs> um, there's quite a few cities in this area that I do know the name of in like the Frisian speaking part of the country. Um, but if you don't, if you can't type it down, you don't know it. So that 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 does remind me that in Germany there is um, big Roman city over here quite famous would recommend it to a lot of people it's on the very western edge of germany i don't get it so i can get you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna think about the train line between brussels and frankfurt i've taken that train so i'd know all the stops so i'm missing oh i'm yeah i'm missing cologne and dusseldorf wow that's those are some big ones and then there's um the place of the silly trams in the sky up there um Wuppert wuppertal um so we got Wuppertal. Look at that, by the way. Just huge, huge numbers coming up here. Um, and so um, then there is a big city. It's 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 a, it's like a German spa town from the Holy Roman Empire days that is just escaping me and it's ruining me. So um, yeah, you know, what? I think that's as good as we're doing for this area. I think we're gonna make a real good sweep. At, okay, so first of all, Albania's capital is Tirana. Um, Skopje. I'm sure it's like that. Okay, I don't know what I did differently that time, but I got it correctly. And Montenegro, I have to get a city. I can't have no city, no cities in a country. Um, like I, I know there's, a, I bet there's a place called Olstad in there. Yep, I got somewhere of Olstad, not here. It's like um, there's a city that is I. It starts with like it's there's lots of small cities that I do know, know in Iceland, but they blank me when it comes up importantly. When I do the quiz, that's when the knowledge decides that it doesn't want to be there anymore. But when I'm, you know, when I'm on a on a first date and uh, the the subject of uh, how do you feel about children comes up, of course I know all the Icelandic cities there. Anyway, so with that said, we'll go into the UK and Ireland now. So first of all, Ireland, I think, because I have slightly less Irish knowledge than UK knowledge. Uh, Cork, Limerick. Um, there once was a man from Limerick, and he didn't know how to rhyme very well. Um, so then we got Galway. Um, and we've got, uh, so have I done Cork yet? I can't, okay, I've done Cork. Around Dublin, you've got, so, no, yeah, wow. This is week four cities for Ireland. So, um, yeah, for Northern Ireland, we've got Belfast. And there's the big city that people don't like. It's London something, or it's something. Derry. Um, there we go. You sp hey, you got Derry in Ireland too, covered. Um, so then there's, uh, Larn in uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, there's quite a few cities. Bangor, there's one in Wales too. Oh, there's one in Ireland as well, heck yeah. Um, and then, yeah, everything else. Does anyone live in any of that? I don't really know. I think we've got the most of the population covered. So now we'll go for Cardiff, um, and we'll go for Swansea. I'll go for Wales and Scotland first, assuming I know less about them by proximity effect. Um, then there's like, um, funnily enough, yeah, Bangor is actually coming to my mind, so. Useful. Uh, then there's Lan Lan Lanago or something like that. Lanfair. There's there's Lan Lan Googie 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 over in the north. There's Crew in the north of. It's not quite Wales, but it basically is Wales. And then there's quite a few places down in the southwest here that just don't 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 come to me. So um yeah now we'll go to the north. We'll go to Scotland. Everyone knows Aberdeen. Everyone knows Glasgow and Edit. Oh yeah, we're getting some hefty population numbers here. Um. Inverness, and then after that, we're really gonna have a drop in numbers. But there's Fort Williams, uh, Fort Williams. No, there's just if I type in Williams, will that be something? Is it not Fort Williams? Fort, okay, Fort Andrew. There's there's um the the capital's called Sterling. That's our whole cu whole currency seems to be from that. How does Sterling get me in there, but not Fort Williams? Fort Williams is definitely a city. I'm so sure of it, but apparently I'm wrong. Um. I'm so confused by that one. I, I really am. Is there a place called Sterling in Ireland, by the way? Is that what I'm learning from this? Nope. Okay, so um, there is a um, there are some cities in between that um, like there's Stan something on the west coast. Okay, so Isle of Man has um, let, let's go for the weird territories before we go for England. So Ch Guernsey and Jersey have starts with an A, and the Isle of Man has okay. We're not getting any of that. That's fine. Uh, so Liverpool, Manchester, Birmingham, easy, big city sorted. Then it's Leicester, then it's Nottingham. Uh, then we'll go for Cornwall, Corn. Cornwall's the co oh Newquay's the, the city. 
And then there's Exeter, which might be Devon, honestly. I'm not sure. Um, then there's Barnstaple. Have family there. Then there's Biddeford. You can probably tell by the, the population of 28,000 I might have. People I know there. Um, on the Then there's Bristol. Bristol's a big old city. Um, then we've got up in the north, we've got York. We, you see, this is this is me bringing myself back. I need to get over 20%. I'm running out of time. Um, I, I need to get... There's uh, Darlington. Um, there's um, Newcastle. There's Berwick upon Tweed as well as the one in Edinburgh, but apparently just Berwick upon Tweed. Um, so up north, we've got uh, in Cumbria. We've got a lot of places. See, this, this UK focus last is good. Norwich. Norwich. And then we've got in, in Sussex. No, in... in so that Norwich is in Norwich. Okay, Ipswich. That's the opposite of Norwich. Um, then we've got some big cities like Skegness. It's a huge city. It's m millions of people live there. Um, then we've got uh, down to the south. We've got after Exeter. There's Truro, which is, I think, a city, right? I don't know how. And we're not getting many for this, so we got to really focus big here. Um, actually, or we could go the opposite way, because I, I mentioned, I think I mentioned Luton works, right? Is there more Lutons in the world? Um, which means we go for the Bedford-Brighton train line, which is a uh, obviously a big Thameslink route. So Brighton is in there, and so is uh, Havering. Um, that's not a real city, apparently. Um, there's Chising... Chis no, okay, there's... Uh, there's Chichester, that's one of the cities in the UK. There's Milton Keynes, that's a big one to forget. Um, there's, uh, so, um, Harlington, might be a part of Luton, actually. Oh, no, it counts. Um, there, see, I'm just gonna name the whole train line. Then there's Crawley, um, that, I think that's where the airport is. There's Southend, our newest city, obviously. Um, yeah, that's a big one, apparently. Then we've got Kent, no, Kent has Canterbury. And then, like, I don't know, Rochester. You can see my southeast bias here is showing real strong. Between Liverpool, Manchester, and York, we're missing like some of the big cities like Leeds and uh, Sheffield. And uh, yeah, we're missing some more big cities that I obviously don't know. Um, there's Scarborough, which I just, I think it's a seaside town uh, more than anything else. Then there's Lincoln. Um, there's a Boston up there. Oh, Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln. In, right? Okay, then there's Boston up there, which is weird, but it does exist. There's a Boston in Ireland? Wow, that's fun. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna really, really, really try and nail in here, like, I know a lot of places in this area. So, if you go east, there's Cambridge, and then obviously with Cambridge, there's Oxford. And with Oxford, there's obviously... Oh, there's a, there's a place called Stratford-upon-Avon. Um, yeah, perfect. Lots of Stratfords. Come on, up to 20%. We're running out of time here to do this. Um, we might be better off going for big cities and other countries that we're missing. What big cities are we missing in France? There's Paris to Nice and Marseille. But down in the southwest, there's a big city over there too. There's, um, there's big cities in Ukraine that we're missing that we really should be getting. There's big cities all across the continent that I just can't... Can't bring myself to name. Okay, Spain is going to be it, I think. I've, I've gone as far as we're getting with tiny towns in the UK. Spain has huge cities. So there's Seville for the oranges. Then there's Valencia. There we go. Yeah, we're getting much better progress if we find the big cities. Um, to the set, the just name all the holiday destinations. Where can I get flights to from England? Um, or from London, even. Um, so, yeah, the, we, we, we're out of place in Ireland. We're out of space with... Most of these places. The big populated countries is where we have to focus. And the one that I've done the least stuff that I think I know the most of are France and Spain. So, last few minutes here. Okay, Spain has... Um, it's interesting how the brain works in this way. I, I really I really am absolutely intrigued by how my brain is not working, rather. Um, so, Spain has a clear city. You go from... There's cities in all the sides of it, really. Valencia, and then there's... I got Barcelona, and I got Seville, but there's bigger cities after Valencia. Um, there's... I think Malaga is not a city, but we'll go for it anyway. There it is, perfect. Um, that I was wrong about that being the island. I'm, I'm glad I got it. Um, Zurich and Bern, and then Geneva are not the only three big cities in Switzerland. And also there's a big city around here, like... Uh, European Parliament. It's in Strasbourg, it's in Brussels, and it's somewhere else. Um, it's It's got some some function somewhere. Um, so after Cologne and Dusseldorf, uh, Dusseldorf, uh, and Hanover, and oh man, yeah, I, I need to focus my brain. France. There is five big cities in France. 
There's Paris. There's Marseille. There's Nice. And there is nowhere else that comes to my brain. This is useless. This is useless, damn it. Um, this is so... being. I, I can't wait to look at a map and be like, yes, I know what's over there. Yes, I... Okay, so let's just try for a fun here. Let's try the random place name. So, uh, y so like, uh, you know, like, uh, bit, you know, like, um, Cl Clanford. That could be a place. Cleb, Clebs, Klebsburg. You know, no, that's not gonna work. We could try, like, three letters, like, Rid, Red. Oh, that was something. Rud, <laughs> Rod. <laughs> yeah, that's my... <laughs> It's doing something for me. Um, but yeah, it's obviously, if you want to get actual population numbers, you need the big cities. And I don't have the big cities. There's a whole thing over here that I didn't get. Damn it. Okay, so 203, 209 cities. Finish and save. Um, we won't be able to add more cities, but the game will be saved permanently. And I'll get a link to results that I can share. I liked this as a first attempt. I do feel like it's a reminder I need to learn more places. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's it's worth mentioning that my my very first cities in here, um, yeah, I, I think we could have probably started really UK heavy and then moved onwards. I think remembering a lot of, I, I think I got the UK really well covered, but a lot of other countries besides Germany, um, I think I did Italy of the big ones. Um, I think I, I think I just the the big named cities escaped me, and knowing two more Russian cities would be worth knowing ten more UK or ten more Irish or Danish cities, I think. So I think that's the pro tip. My smallest cities that I actually got were Ulm, but by accident. Ulm I got on purpose, Crete I got on accident, Valletta Italy I got on, uh, by accident, and Barry Italy I got because it has the same name. The biggest city, the smallest city that I think I can really count as me, um, is Bang, nope, Newcastle, I think Cambridge, England, nope, even that, it's not the right one, so, I, I, all of these small cities are accidental casualties, the rarest city is Bangor, Wales, which is insane, how does, like, how do more people get Rod in Norway, than get Bangor in Wales, Bangor is actually a big city, I want to say, or at least trains go there, uh, this is Bangor right here, by the way, um, it's like, it's, it's like the open, I think, I think there's a ferry terminal there, maybe, or maybe it's on the way to the ferry terminal, um, just so I know, just for my own, my own sanity, I was missing Zaragoza, obviously, Mercia, um, I don't think I, I yeah, okay, there, there was a big city here that I thought I was missing, but honestly, no, um, Bilbao I should have got, it's, uh, Basque, and, okay, I'm not, I'm not as disappointed in myself, Palma, Palermo, it is called Palermo, damn it, why did I not get Palermo? I was typing in Palermo. <laughs> I was doing it. I gassed it myself into thinking I was thinking of the drink. Um, but I wasn't. I got the city right. Um, as for how to spell. <laughs> okay, so Montenegro's capital is Podgorica. Could have gotten that. Um, how to spell Fessalong. Okay, we're not even going to bother with that one. Um, but with regards to, yeah, there's a lot of cities. Kharkiv, uh, Dnipro, Volgograd. Um, just knowing a few more of these cities would have gotten me to that 20%, which is the reminder, it doesn't matter, also, it's Helsinki has Espoo, that's the city to the side of Helsinki, so if we did this again, I think we'd get 20, 22, 20, I think if you study for this, you could do pretty well, also Reykjavik, it is, oh, it's not a J, because, okay, it's Reykjavik, <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad, anyway, uh, this has been a lot of fun, I hope you enjoyed, um, seeing my rarest, uh, my, my cities I named in Europe. I got 18% for Europe. How well, because this is cityquiz.io, how well do you think I would do for the UK or indeed the world? Which one would you like to see? Because I, I think this is so fun. I'd love to do solo UK or, solo, or do the whole world and really show myself up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the editing on this. Did it add to it? Remove from it? Let me know. I'm just having some fun on this channel, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I bet I could do a substantial percent of Canada, too. You know what? We'll just have to do a city quiz day. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.